Welcome to our Express Google Chrome tutorials. We've designed these lessons to cover a single topic as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Today's lesson, we're going to show you how to save your home page or multiple home pages so you have what you want displayed every time you open Google Chrome. Okay, on the screen before us, I just downloaded Google Chrome and this was the page that came up but we want to select a different page every time we open Chrome. So let's go ahead in here and let's type in the home page we want. It could be anything that you want, does not matter. Whatever you want every time you open Chrome that you want to see. For this example, we're going to do yahoo.com. Okay, once the page is fully loaded, you're going to go to the right hand side of your screen, right below that X where you close it, there are three bars. You're going to click on that. You're going to scroll down to settings, click on settings, Give it a moment for the page to load. Okay, when the page is loaded, you're gonna go down to the second section that says on startup. You're gonna slide down and click on the radio button that says open a specific page or set of pages. And then you're gonna click on the hyperlink to the right of that that says set pages. Now here it says add a new page. We can type one in or we can hit the button that says use current pages. We're gonna use current pages. As you can see, Yahoo automatically jumped up. We're going to hit OK. Let's close our browser by left clicking on the X in the upper right hand corner. Go ahead and reopen your browser. And as you can see, Yahoo comes up. It's that simple to set your home page on Google Chrome. Now, many people out there have multiple pages that they hit in the morning, maybe news and Yahoo, maybe banking, maybe some stocks. So what we want to happen when we open Chrome in the morning or anytime we open Chrome, we want multiple pages to show up. So what we're going to do is go to the next tab over. There's a little blank spot there. And it says new tab when you roll over. Click on that. Now we want to type in, let's say we go to Bank of America. In the address bar, type in bankofamerica.com. Hit enter on your keyboard. Okay, and now let's say we want another web page. Go back to the new tab, blank icon. Click on it. Type in the next page we want. We want msn.com. Now the key is you want to wait until all the pages fully load. Don't start navigating all over the place, just have a little patience. Okay, what we want to do is slide over to the right side, the three lines or the menu. You want to click on that, slide back down to settings, click on settings. Okay, the radio button's already selected for open a specific page or set of pages. Click on the hyperlink for set pages. Click on use current pages. And as you can see now we have Yahoo, Bank of America, and MSN. Click OK. Upper right hand corner, close your browser. We'll go ahead and reopen your browser. And as you can see at the top of the screen, all three tabs are now currently open. Yahoo, Bank of America, MSN. Keep in mind that when you have multiple pages opening, when you open Google Chrome, it's going to open that way every single time. The more pages you have opening, the longer it may take Google Chrome to open. So speed is also dependent on the content of each page. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to click on the like button below and subscribe to our channel for new computer tutorials as they become available. Please feel free to comment below about this video or ask us a question. Until next time, enjoy surfing the net.